Hello all and welcome. Today we are going to learn about gastropods. What are gastropods? Gastropods are the largest class of invertebrates within the phylum mollusca. In fact, they are the second largest taxonomic class in existence behind insecta. They consist of snails, slugs, and a bunch of crazy looking organisms that you may have never heard of before. Gastropods have colonized almost everywhere on Earth, from terrestrial environments including deserts and caves, to freshwater environments, even spanning all depths of the ocean. Although gastropods are spread throughout the globe, this video will focus on marine gastropods, which have a huge diversity of morphologies, feeding types, and reproductive strategies. All gastropods share two main synapomorphies. They undergo torsion during their larval stage and possess a spirally coiled shell. Torsion is a 180 degree twisting of the body such that the anus sits directly over the head. This adaptation has helped snails to better fit inside their shells. Not all modern day gastropods exhibit these characteristics. However, these traits were once possessed by their ancestors and then lost over time due to evolution. In this video, we are going to cover four main subclasses, Cyanogastropoda, Patellogastropoda, Vetigastropoda, and Heterobronchia. The first subclass we will delve into is Cyanogastropoda. This is the largest subclass, including over 60% of living gastropods. Largely consisting of marine snails, this subclass includes many well-known creatures, including conch snails, periwinkles, and cone snails. Most cyanogastropods have a pair of tentacles with eyes on top. They also have only one kidney and a single heart chamber. Many of these snails have a siphon that protrudes from their shell. A siphon is an extension of the mantle in the shape of a tube that serves to pull water over the tinnitia that lay inside their shell. The moon snail is in this subclass and can be found in a variety of colors and sizes. A distinguishable factor includes the large mantle that protrudes from their shell. These fierce predators consume other mollusks by drilling a circular hole into the shell of their prey and then using their proboscis to consume their soft insides. Holes drilled into the shells lying along a beach can be a telltale sign of a moon snail population. Another important subclass is the patellogastropoda or true limpets. Limpets have a flattened cone-shaped shell. These guys are tough and live their lives sticking on rocks in the intertidal using their strong muscular foot. They feed by using their radula to scrape algae off rocks. A fun fact about limpets is that the teeth lining their radula are the strongest biological material in the world, even surpassing spider silk. The next subclass we will cover is the Vetti gastropoda, or top shells. These critters can easily be distinguished by the secondary holes or slits along the tops of their shells. Examples of Vetti gastropoda include abalones and keyhole limpets, which differ from true limpets by the hole in the top of their shell. The last subclass we will cover today is Heterobronchia. This colorful subclass includes nudibranchs, sea hares, and pteropods, among other organisms. Nudibranchs and a type of pteropod called sea angels have lost their shells through evolution, while sea hares possess an internal shell. Heterobranchs also undergo a process called detorsion, which reverses the process of torsion that is undergone in the larval stage. The two most common types of nudibranchs found are in the suborders Aeolidacea and Doridacea. Dorids are distinguished by an exterior gill plume surrounding the anus. Aeolids, on the other hand, have protrusions called serrata covering their back. These protrusions are extensions of their digestive tract that are also used for respiration. Many aeolids are able to store nematocysts from the hydroids they eat in their serrata and then use them to sting unsuspecting predators. A type of pteropod called sea butterflies have shells made out of calcium carbonate. Unfortunately, these shells dissolve in acidic conditions. However, this makes them good bioindicators for the effects of our changing climate. Particularly, they're good indicators for monitoring the effects of ocean acidification on marine life. This is just a small portion of the diversity that gastropoda has to offer. There are many more of these unique creatures spanning almost every inch of the globe. Scientific research on these often overlooked critters has led to discoveries in ecological and pharmaceutical knowledge, including studies regarding ocean acidification 
and even the exploration of new opioid alternative medicines for pain relief. I hope you enjoy this video and that I helped build your curiosity about these fascinating invertebrates living in our oceans. Thanks for watching.